Hey there friends and thanks for joining me again and I've got a really important video for you today. I've got some natural remedies to help you get rid of a cold fast and when I say fast I mean it. I mean hours instead of days like you would normally be sick for. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first tip that I would use would be elderberry syrup. This is my absolute favorite method that I use when I get to get sick with you know a cold or flu or anything because it's a very powerful antiviral and it also has some immune boosting properties and some antioxidants and other things that are really good for you. So I make mine homemade. I just put this in a glass jar I had around, um, but you can also buy it. It is a little bit on the pricey side, so um, that's definitely something to consider. So if you are gonna make it, I would recommend finding a recipe that has the least amount of sugar possible or even no sugar at all. My personal recipe that I actually put out last year, which I'll put in the description box, um, uses honey and very little of it. So this is definitely one of the things that I would highly recommend. And again, if you buy it, then I would just recommend finding one that doesn't have as much sugar. Um, because sugar suppresses the immune system. So that's gonna be something else that I would want, you know, for you to do is just to use as little refined sugar as possible. You know, soda, candy, whatever it is you're drinking or eating that has a lot of refined sugar, that's gonna undermine, you know, your body's ability to fight it off. So you're gonna wanna eliminate that. And so this is tip number one, elderberry syrup. The second thing I would do would be to find a zinc supplement. And then I would take somewhere between 50 and 100 milligrams of that in a day. Spread out though, of course. Um, for a short period of time, this is gonna be okay, but I wouldn't do this for more than a day or two. That's quite a bit more zinc than your body would normally need. So, um, but getting some extra zinc when you are sick definitely does help shorten the duration of a cold and it helps to boost your immune system. So that's the second thing I would do. And just as a quick thing, if you don't have the time, say you're watching this video, searching the internet, looking for something to get rid of your cold because you already have one and you don't wanna pay the price for an expensive you know, elderberry syrup and you don't have the time to go ahead and order some berries and make it yourself, the thing I would recommend would just be some of these, these little zinc lozenges. They have zinc and elderberry both in there together. And so it's very inexpensive. This whole tube I think was like $1.79. You know, and it would be something you could eat slowly throughout the day or whatever. And it'll have both the zinc and the elderberry in it together to really help you fight off that cold quickly. So um, it does have some ingredients that are maybe less than ideal, some fructose and other things. But again, if you're on a budget or, you know, you just need something quick, this will work. This will do. It'll be okay. So that's what I would recommend. And then the next thing I would highly recommend would be to get lots of vitamin C in your diet. And I would do it both ways. I would do both a whole food form and then also some supplemental form because we're gonna wanna get more than we would normally get just through our regular diet. So we're looking for about one to 3,000 milligrams in the day spread out. So maybe do like an orange with breakfast, a handful of strawberries or whatever fruits you like to have high amounts of vitamin C, you know, as you're eating throughout the day and then also some supplements that you can take. Uh, I would look for a nice high quality um, or, you know, as natural form as you can. And then also, if you're avoiding GMOs, you know, um, vitamin C is one of the things that have common uh, amounts of GMOs in it. So I would recommend trying to find one that's GMO free if that's something that you're, you're trying to do with your diet. The next thing I would recommend would be garlic. Garlic has very powerful antiviral, antifungal, and antibacterial properties. So this really goes alongside with your immune system and helps to fight it off. So the way I would use this, if you can, would be to just take off the clove, peel it, and then chop it into say about four pieces, and then take it like you would a capsule. So take the capsule, put it in your mouth, quick swallow it with some water. If this is too spicy for you, if you're trying, if you're trying to treat like a child or something and they're not gonna be okay with eating straight raw garlic, you know, maybe do like um, those other garlic capsules or even odorless if you really want to. It won't be as effective as like a real um, whole food form but you know, anything's better than nothing. So, you know, this is very inexpensive, easy to come by. Most people already have it around and this can really help a lot too. So that's my tip number four would be just some garlic. The next thing I would recommend would be oregano oil. And it works very similarly to the garlic. Um, I would just take a cup of water or so and then add like four or five drops to it and then drink it that way. If you're struggling with being able to take it, because again, if it doesn't taste very good, you could also put it in one of those capsules, one of those empty capsules. You could put the drops in there and then take it that way. So that'd be another good way to take it um, if you need to. But again, it helps to boost the immune system and has a lot of the same antiviral, bacterial, and antifungal properties that, like the garlic does. So that goes hand in hand. The next thing I would recommend would be echinacea. You know, there are some studies out there that actually say that taking echinacea when you have a cold can cut the duration in half. 
So I would just take this, just like the directions say, take three capsules three times a day, you know, with your meals probably, because otherwise it can have a little bit of a upsetting to the tummy um, thing. So anyway, yeah, just take the echinacea every day, um, probably for the first day, that's all you're going to need it for, because if you follow many of these tips, that's all you're going to be sick for anyway. And this will help to boost that immune system and help to get rid of that cold really quickly. So echinacea, number six. Number seven is going to be apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar has a very powerful detoxing effect on our body. So it'll help our lymph system to be able to drain and to move and help to get rid of all these things that we have in our system that's causing us to be sick in the first place. Plus, as the viruses are dying off, we're going to need a way to eliminate them. So that's what this is going to do for us. So I would take apple cider vinegar uh, in water. I highly recommend drinking this every day anyway, maybe like a tablespoon or two in your water every day. But when you're sick and you really want to boost it up even higher and better than that, what I would do is take about two tablespoons three times a day to really help detox and to get rid of all those um, viruses and whatnot. So when you're gonna, gonna get, excuse me, when you're gonna get a apple cider vinegar, I would look for one that's raw, unfiltered, um, and organic, of course, and then with the mother. That means it's gonna have the cultures in it that are really gonna be the most helpful to you. So, yeah, apple cider vinegar. Tip number seven. Number eight is gonna be ginger. Ginger, I'm gonna warn you, is pretty intensely spicy, but that's how it helps. It actually helps in two ways. The first way is just like many of the other things, it helps to boost your immune system, it has antiviral properties and things like that. But also it'll help to mitigate your symptoms because it can help, you know, clear your sinuses. Again, it's very spicy, so when you go to eat it, it'll help clear it out pretty quickly, actually. It can help to soothe your sore throat, and it can also help your tummy. Um, unfortunately, when we have a cold, we're swallowing mucus and other things like that that cause our tummy to have some discomfort and so um, taking some crystallized ginger candy or whatever really helps a lot. So um, yeah, I would do just a few of these as needed throughout the day and then this can also help, you know, again, mitigate the symptoms and help to fight the cold both in one. So this is helpful also. Very inexpensive. Number nine is going to be honey. Honey works in a couple ways. It can help boost your immune system but it also works as a cough suppressant. So you, again, you can use this one of two ways. You can put a little bit of it in your tea and then drink it that way. Or you can even just put a bit of it on a spoon and then just take it straight as like a cough syrup. So, you know, this would be good for children. Uh, it tastes pretty good and it is also very effective, especially if you have um, a cough. So this would be something I would recommend if you have that kind of thing going on. The next thing I would highly recommend doing is adding some humidity to your home. Uh, a dry environment helps spread viruses more quickly. So whoever it is you live with, your family, your roommates, whatever, having more humidity in your house is going to help keep it from spreading to the other people. And it's also going to help you feel better if you're the one who's sick or the person who is sick. You know, say you're taking care of a child who's sick or whatnot. It's going to help them feel better as well. So it can help, you know, um, help with nasal inflammation. It can help decrease that. And it can also help make it easier to breathe. So you know, again, that can really be helpful. If you even want to step it up a bit even higher than that, you know, um, a germ fighting bath would be my tip number 11. You can just run a nice warm bath, add about one cup of Epsom salt to it, and then about five drops each of some tea tree oil, some eucalyptus oil, and some lavender. Um, this can help make it easier to breathe. Eucalyptus really helps. It's a main ingredient in a vapor rub, so that would also be another thing you could use if you didn't want to take the bath or in connect, you know, also with it, you know. And then also um, the essential oils that you've added are going to have like uh, antimicrobial properties to them so that they can help to fight the viruses and kill the viruses that are on your skin so that you're not spreading it around as much. So again, it'll make you feel better and then it'll help, you know, create a healthier environment. So a germ fighting bath would definitely be something I would do. And then tip number 12 is going to be some chicken soup, you know. We were always told that by maybe our grandmothers or our moms or whatnot, but chicken soup really does help when you're sick. It actually helps the uh, neutrophil, which is a type of uh, white blood cell that you have in your body. It helps them to uh, attack the uh, infection more efficiently. So, you know, eating the chicken soup not only has a nice comforting feeling, but it actually also helps to fight the cold. So there you go. Those are my 12 tips that I would definitely recommend that you could do to help kick a cold very, very quickly. And the average person is sick for maybe about four days, but if you do these, you should be sick for one day or less. 
So, you know, again, um, I've explained how these each work, so you maybe don't have to do all of them, but you can pick and choose which ones, you know, you have symptoms for, or what you would prefer to use, or what you can actually, you know, um, what you prefer taste-wise and things like that. So, lots of things to choose from. So there you go. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you are sick right now, I hope this helps to take care of you. And uh, if not, then many of these items are inexpensive to purchase, and you can have them around in case the situation should arise. So again, I hope this video was really helpful to you, and I'm Frugal Green Girl. We'll see you next time.